Our loyal listeners north of the border have been in touch about the Scottish ferry company Caledonian McBrain. It's the largest ferry operator in the UK, with more than 150,000 scheduled sailings a year. It serves ports up and down Scotland's western seaboard, including popular destinations such as Skye and Oban. And for those living on more remote islands, it's often the only practical way to reach large islands or the mainland. Ewan Humphreys emailed us. I recently saw the MSP for Edinburgh Pentlands, Gordon MacDonald, tweet that Caledonian McBrain were operating at 98.76% for reliability. However, I don't think I've had a year where there's been so many routes or sailings cancelled due to breakdowns or poor refit schedules. Are these figures true or, as I suspect, reported in a misleading way? To answer this question, we've enlisted our Scotland correspondent and frequent CalMac passenger, Callum Grewer. Ahoy, Callum. Ahoy, Tim. Now, Callum, sometimes with our correspondents, I'm a little bit sceptical about the whole recruitment. We had a COD correspondent, for example, who only filed one story. So I've got to ask, are you actually in Scotland? And do you really get CalMac ferries? Yes, I'm here in Glasgow, and I do really have the pleasure of using these ferries. I'm actually using them this very weekend. But... Here, CalMac is a big story. Scotland's ferry fiasco is existential threat to island communities. South Uist faces June of disruption after CalMac cancellations. That's right. CalMac has certainly had a lot of negative press for a wee while now. With an ageing fleet, behind schedule and over-budget ferries and a BBC Scotland investigation all making the headlines. And as it's owned by the Scottish Government, it's become a bit of a political football. I think what explains it best is that someone felt compelled to write a Wikipedia page for the term ferry fiasco. But this page doesn't mention any old fiasco on a ferry, only what's been happening at CalMac. So I don't blame the listeners for raising a few eyebrows when they see these stats. However, we're obviously not interested in any of that extracurricular drama. We only care about the numbers. 98.76% reliable. Nearly 99% reliable. Can that really be the case? And what does that even mean? Tim, if I was to ask you what it meant for a ferry service to be 99% reliable, what would you assume? I suppose that 99% of ferries depart and arrive on time? Let's not even talk about on time. Punctuality is a different question altogether. OK, then. Uh, 99% of scheduled ferry journeys happen and 1% are cancelled. Is that right? Well, you'd probably think so. But the 98.76% number that the MSP Gordon MacDonald, who's an SNP politician, tweeted is from CalMac's 2021 to 2022 accounts and refers to the contracted reliability. But it's a very strange number. In what way? Well, first, this number, contracted reliability, doesn't actually refer to any meaningful real-world thing. Instead, you have to pay attention to the fact that 100% minus 98.76% is 1.24%. So what Gordon MacDonald and CalMac's accounts are actually saying was that only 1.24% of sailings were cancelled. But isn't that the same thing? Sadly not, because we weren't quite finished. Only 1.24% of sailings were cancelled after being published in the seasonal timetable and for reasons beyond the control of CalMac, such as weather, tide or harbour conditions. Uh Aha, I get it. So other sailings were cancelled for other reasons, but they don't count. That's exactly right. They don't count for this number, but of course they count if you're trying to sail from Sky to North Uist and there's no ferry. So how many sailings were cancelled and then not included in the figure that we've been talking about? It's about 10,000. <laughs> 10,000? It's a lot. Quite. CalMac does also report the actual reliability of their service, which means all cancellations of timetabled sailings and 8.28% of sailings were cancelled in the year 2021 to 22. So in answer to Ewan's question... Yes, the tweeted numbers are based on a real calculation from CalMac's accounts, but they do not reflect what people who rely on the ferries will really experience. Now, Ewan also said he can't remember a year with so many cancelled sailings. Uh, Is that the case? Well, the first thing to remember is that, as you said, CalMac is the UK's largest ferry operator and schedules over 150,000 sailings a year. So even if reliability is pretty good overall, it could still be terrible on certain routes. But then the question is, is reliability good overall? Well, it's a bit tricky to make these comparisons over time. I could only find stats for the major routes over the past eight calendar years. That's thanks to Joe Reid of the Isle of Mull, 
who submitted a Freedom of Information request asking CalMac for all sailings on major routes and whether they were cancelled. He generously shared them with me, so thanks, Joe. Now, because COVID disrupted services, I compared the average actual reliability of the five years prior to COVID with 2022's figures. Between 2015 to 2019, the average actual reliability on major routes was 94%, but in 2022, it was down to 90%. All right, so that means that one in 10 scheduled sailings on a major route didn't sail last year. But these numbers are for when a scheduled service has been cancelled. So what about when a route is out of service for a long time? Well, it's a good question. And you're right, even these statistics don't tell the full story, as there's a way of keeping longer-term service disruption off the books, shall we say. If the only ferry service available for a route is going to be out of service for a long period of time, that route won't have any sailing scheduled on the next season's timetable. For example, on the Ardrossan to Campbelltown route, the MV Hebridean Isles Ferry is off getting repaired, and so there were no sailings scheduled for the summer 2023 season. But this means the lack of sailings on this route are left out of reliability statistics, while those in Campbelltown are left without a ferry. Well, thank you, Callum. No wonder listeners were scratching their heads when they saw the MSP's tweet. CalMac said this about their reliability figures. Our contractual reliability statistics accurately reflect the services provided in terms of the Clyde and Hebrides ferry service contract to maintain provision of lifeline services. However, we fully recognise these don't necessarily reflect the complete picture for certain islands, which is why we also record and publish actual reliability statistics which are reflective of the actual service provided to islanders. To all the loyal listeners on the Scottish islands, I hope that answers your questions. Our thanks to Joe Reid for his insights and data, and to CalMac for providing us with up-to-date statistics, and, of course, to our Scotland and CalMac correspondent.